Welcome back, people, to part two of week one. Fantastic. If for some reason you're watching part two and you have not watched part one, uh, stop and go back and watch part one. Okay. Um, I just finished my meeting. It was lame. And now I'm back to record the part two uh, portion of the week one lectures. Okay. Um, for this part two. Two, I'm going over uh, library library assignment and annotated bibliography, easy bib, proper MLA heading. Uh, yeah, because I've actually went over a semester independent book in the previous one. Okay, so just to continue where we were, when we left off, I was in the week one file. Okay, week one file. We discussed assignments and due dates. We discussed the study guide questions. We discussed the welcome quiz. We discussed, oh, there's the study guide. I posted it twice. Oh, what an idiot. Okay, I'll just delete this one. There we go. Um, and then uh, we discussed the semester novel requirement. Okay, next thing you can do is go to the discussion board and introduce yourself. Okay. Uh, it's unavailable because class has a start yet. But when you click on that, you'll be able to uh, start a uh, thread where you will introduce yourself. What kind of books do you enjoy reading? What do you like to read? Is there anything that you're currently reading or hoping to read or starting to read? And if not, then what are some things maybe you've read in the past that you enjoyed? Okay, just introduce yourself. Just say hi. Just say hi. It's great. It's easy grade. Okay, just do it. Okay, so the main assignment for this week is the finding it sources assignment. Okay. This assignment is essentially going to be what's called an annotated bibliography, which is a, where you have a list of sources that you have read. Um, and then you are stating what those things were about. Okay, this um, class relies a lot on outside sources. Uh, your first essay is just about the stories you read, so you're going to be using the stories as your sources. Then essay two, you are going to be reading some poetry and doing research on the topics in the in that poetry. So you'll be doing uh, writing about the the poetry itself, and then what other people have said. And then essay three is your novel with research. OK, so using outside sources and making sure that we understand those is an important part of this course. OK. All right. So what you're going to do is um, you are going to do some basic Google research. OK, on these three um, topics. Number one, I want you to research what Le Petit Mort refers to. Explain what it symbolizes and provide the citation for your source. Uh, number two, research existentialism in your own words. Explain what it, oh, I'm sorry, research existentialism. And in your own words, explain what it means and provide the citation for your source. Three, research who Sartre was and expl explain his analogy of the waiter. Explain what it means to provide, uh, explain what it means and provide the citation for your source. OK, I want your submission to be in a Word document or a downloaded Google Doc. Do not post a web address link or a shared copy. It needs to be a file that you upload here. Your submission has to be in proper MLA formatting. It needs to be headed correctly, double space, and your answers need to be your original words and written in complete sentences. Submissions in, uh, that have poor grammar, formatting, and communication will receive a poor grade. Okay. I'm going to go step by step on how to complete this assignment. All right. So um, I provided here an MLA template that it would be great for you to use because you can download it and you don't even have to create your own template. OK, it's, it will already, already put together. I did it myself. OK, you just need to type in the information. So like double, double click here. Oops. I've lost myself. There I am. 
All right, type in your last name. I'm going to do a fake last name, Smith. Okay, your first and last name. So I'm going to say Elliot Smith. Mr. Byers, English 702. The due date. The due date is Sunday, the 15th. And you, we know that because we can go here. It says it right there. Due date, 115. So you can put uh, 15 January 2023. Title of assignment. This title of assignment is Library Research. Oops, it's not in the center, so I need to click on Center. There we go. Hit Enter. Okay. Now, if you were going to set this up on your own, if you didn't want to do the, the template, you were like, I'm all on my own. I'm my own person. Then you open up a Word document, okay? And then the first thing you do is paragraph here, it says line spacing, go to double. Here, where it says after, it's zero. So zero, zero, double. Okay. Then double click up here and go to uh, insert, and then page number, top of page down to the plan number three, where the page number is on the right hand side. And then type in your last name, a space. And click here, okay. And type uh, your name. Type your professor's or instructor's name, buyers, or if they're a doctor, I'm not a doctor, I'm a mister. Type the course, English 1102. Uh, if, if it has a, sp a specific time, you should put the time, like English 1102, nine, uh, oops, what am I doing? Nine a.m. Monday, Wednesday. Okay, this course is online, so you don't have to put that for me. Um, and then you put the date, the due date, due date, okay. In this case, is 15 January, not the 4th. There we go. Okay, enter, and then you'd go to the center button, put the, the title, so library research. It's not underlined, it's not in capitals, it's not in quotation marks. Enter, and then hit up here, it says justify. There you go. And now you are ready to type, okay? We have our template. We have it set up, okay? So we need to look up first, what does La Petite More refer to? Okay. So I would just copy, go to Google, paste, okay? And then I would do more than just find Wikipedia. Go beyond Wikipedia. Okay, and then don't and don't do just this or the video. Okay, um, search for an article, maybe not Instagram. All right, the curious case of a peatboard therapy route. Okay, whatever this is, click on this. And then read this, okay? Maybe this might tell you something about what a little bit more it means, all right? Um, if you wanna use the online Google uh, library like you might've learned in English 1101, cool, do that, all right? But let's just say you read this, you, you read this website and you're like, yeah, cool. I think I know what it is, okay? So here it says, Explain what it symbolizes and provide the citation for your source, okay? Now, this is a website. What I want you to do is I want you to use this resource right here called easybib.com. Click on it. This helps you to pull the citation 
for a website. Okay. Citations are, are the proof of where you get your information from. Okay. You say, hey, look, what I'm saying is valid because I got it from this proof over here. Okay. When you go to this, this is a free website. So um, I would just sign up for a free account. It saves all your citations because um, we're you're going to use it all semester. Go to website, paste the what the, um, the address that you assign it. Go go back to your article, copy, then go back to the website and hit paste. Okay, and hit search. And then right here, this is going to pop up, hit cite, continue. Uh, if anything comes up missing, all right, so like this right here, the article title is missing. So here this says the curious case of Le Petit Mort. Copy. Go here and paste that. The author's name is missing. Go here, and we, I saw a dude's face, Dr. Adrian Perkle. <laughs> Perkle. All right, Adrian Perkle. He's a doctor. Okay. Uh, electronically published. Let's go here. April 1st. 2019, April 2019, day one. Okay, complete citation. Now this is a free website, has a bunch of ads. So you're gonna hit view sponsored message and it's gonna show you a little message, uh, which is gonna end in like 10 seconds. And then it's gonna show you your citation. Um, the correct MLA formatted citation of this information. Okay, you need to be able to put, you need to let's see it right here. Here it is. Okay, copy citation. You have to use the proper MLA citation for this assignment. Okay, um, for your citations. And citation is just the web address of where you got it from, your information. Okay. Now it needs to be double spaced, so I would highlight it. Do double. Okay. And so then what I do is is I write a paragraph summary of what I learned about this term. Okay. Blah. Petit Mort. Okay. If I learn anything, if, if I didn't really learn anything about this after I read it, then I shouldn't be using it. Okay. All right. So then I go to my next one research existentialism. And in your own words, what does it mean? And provide the citation of your source. So now I'm going to type in what is existentialism? Mm -hmm. Again, I'm not going to use a dictionary, okay? I'm not using Wikipedia, all right? I can use a, a, an encyclopedia, okay? Sure, an encyclopedia. If I read this and I understand it and I get it, I'm like, oh, okay, I get it, all right? But this might not make sense to you. If, you. if it doesn't make sense to you, don't use it. Find a source that does make sense to you. But let's just say I read this and it makes sense to me, all right? Um, now, the only thing I don't like about encyclopedias, though, real fast, is because they don't really list authors, okay? So instead, like this one right here, very well, my psychology, what is existentialism, here we have an actual author and published date. So I would probably use this article. I would read it, and then I would go to... Um, Citation again. I'm, I'm creating a citation. I'm doing a website. 
I am pasting my web address. Um, it finds it, I cite it, hit continue. I look to see what's missing. Article, cool. Author, oh, see, this is this is messed up. This is, is her suffix. Marshall is her last name, but Amy is, is her first name. Delete, put Amy there. Okay, that's all good. Okay, complete citation. Look, there it is, and I copy it. Um, if you do this all at one time, you only have to watch one video. And then I paste it here. Oops, it's not double spaced though. Go back, put up here, double. Okay, this should be zero and zero always. Okay, and now I write a paragraph summary of what I learned about existentialism. Okay, and then same thing for the last one. I'm not gonna do right here, okay? The waiter, start. Okay, this, it should look like this. This is the library research example. Your document should look something like this. Smith, 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 the class, the date, library assignment, a article, and then a summary, okay, of what you learned. All right, that's how it should look, which is very similar to what I, I just improvised here with this, okay. You should have three entries and it should have a summary, all right? Um, and you want to make sure you want to highlight all of it. Go to paragraph. Make sure it says double. If it says blank, that means there's inconsistencies. It needs to be zeros, zeros, double, zero, zero, double. There you go. See, now it's fixed. Let's see, make sure this is. Do it again. Zero, zero, double. Great. Okay. And then there should be a third one. And this should be about a paragraph, you know, a couple of lines. Okay. So that is the way that the library, the library research assignment should look. And that's how you do it. Um, it's a combination of Google, EasyBib, and then putting it into a Word document and then submitting it, okay? All right. Um, if you have questions about that, you can email me, and or if you want some verification that you're doing it correctly, then um, I will give you um, some feedback. Um, so that's it. Okay, now look, the reason why you're researching these three things, because these, these three things play into what we're gonna be talking about for your uh, the stories that you're going to be reading, okay? Which leads us into, if we go back to our assignments, for this uh, is that uh, you need to read the story of an hour. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, story of an hour. So, pause. Okay, um, which is right here at the very bottom, story of the hour, of an hour. Okay, you're going to read this. Um, Read this, it's short, it's right here, okay, it's three, it's three pages. Um, I like to print off my stuff, so I, I printed it and I added this space right here in case you want to write on it as you as you uh, read it. Uh, to, uh, you know, just make notes, I could annotate, annotate, okay, but, You read that, okay, and then you are going to complete the serving hour assignment. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to talk about this stuff right here, 
I'm going to go over an analysis of the story of an hour. But I want you to have already read it. Okay. Read it first. Then we're going to talk about it next week. And then you're going to do an, an assignment over it. Make sure you understand it. Okay. So uh, read that before you watch next week's lectures. That'd be great. All right. I hope all that made sense. I hope you understood the process. If you have any questions or you, you feel insecure, uh, reach out, email me, let me know, and I can help you through all of it. Okay? All right. Uh, Y'all have a good week, and I uh, hope you're happy, and I hope you feel secure about the class. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.